If you have a nice collection of movies on your PC but you'd like to view them on your big TV screen, Windows PC offers you an easy and quick way to do that over your home network. Windows includes a DLNA media streaming feature that can send photos, videos and music files to your other devices like your TV, smartphone or PC. In this video, I am going to show how to turn your Windows PC into a DLNA media server and stream content through it over a local network. To turn on media streaming on Windows 10 or 11, please follow the steps. Open the Windows settings. On the search field, type media streaming and click on media streaming options. You need to just turn on media streaming to activate the built-in DLNA media server on your PC. You can modify your server settings from here. First of all, change the name of your media library. Here, it shows you a list of devices that have access to your media files. You can manage which devices should have access to your content. You can easily remove or block a device from here. Also, keep in mind that the content won't be available when your PC is sleeping. So it's recommended to configure the power options and set your PC to always stay awake. Once you enable the DLNA service, your media files are shared from the library's folders in File Explorer. If you don't see this folder, just right click an empty space and select the Show Libraries option. These are the three folders that your other devices can access while your PC is switched on. So make sure you move all your media files into these folders. Step 2. Access media from other devices. Accessing media content from other devices is easy and straightforward. You just have to make sure that your media player supports the UPnP feature to automatically find the DLNA server on your network. You can use VLC Media Player, which is free, open source, and has a built in DLNA media browser. Also, it's available on all major operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. To access media from the DLNA server, open up VLC Media Player. Make sure it's connected to the same network via Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Go to the View tab, then click on the playlist. On the left, under Local Network, click the Universal Plug and Play. Your DLNA server should appear here. You can browse through the folders and play the media files. On Android, to access the media files, open VLC. Go to the Browse tab. Your DLNA media library should appear under the local network. You can navigate to various folders to select the file you want to play. If you want to turn off the DLNA media server anytime, let's see how to disable it. Press the window key plus R to open the run dialog. Type services.msc in the box. It opens the services window.
Scroll down to find Windows Media Player Network Sharing Service. Double click on it. In the pop-up window, change its startup type to manual and stop the service. Click apply and OK to save the changes. You can see the DLNA server is disabled now.